Hey guys, what's up? And I'm here today bringing you guys another cartoon conspiracy. My last video did really well, so we are going to go ahead and do this. Last one was the Ed, Ed and Eddie theory, which the link of the video will be down in the description below. Go check it out. And uh, in this video, we are actually going to be doing Family Guy. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. This is some uh, this is some uh, Battlefield 4 footage in the background. Sorry guys, I, I'm losing my mind. Um, okay, so... Let's go ahead and get into this. So basically, everyone, everything that is in here is within Peter's mind because he is insane. Because right here it says, it all started with Meg. Rather than being the big, unattractive, unpleasant girl that everyone in the show makes her out to be, she was a very beautiful and very popular teenage girl at the prime of her life in high school. And she was also very caring for her young, her poor younger brother, Chris. Chris didn't get enough oxygen when he was born, thus resulting in his mental retardation throughout his life. Meg had a special bond and love for Chris and could not stand the fact that Chris could not receive the intention of love that she had received from everyone, including their parents. As a result, the one night Meg took her younger brother out to a party. However, after heavy drinking on Meg's part and a panic attack on Chris's part, Meg decided to take her brother home. As a result of her integrated state, Meg totaled the car, resulting in the death of her and her brother. Unable to grieve with the death of her two children, Lois committed suicide, suicide shortly after the accident. While she was pregnant with a son that Peter of her, of her, yeah, Peter posthumanly decided to name Stewie. Unable to cope with the death of everyone that he had ever loved, Peter slowly slipped into a sanity, creating a world where he, his three children and his wife were still alive. That is why everyone in the show is so mean and distasteful towards Meg. Peter still resents her for ultimately being the death of everyone around him. However, there is still a minuscule part of Peter that loves Meg for the beautiful and wonderful girl she was. And the love that she, that she held for Chris, which is why every once in a while you see Peter showing some sort of compassion towards his daughter. This would also explain the hyperintelligence of Stewie. Unsure of how Stewie's future would have became, Peter imagined a son with great intelligence and great potential, creating any sort of gadget that he would please. However, his resentment towards Lois also builds up in his image of Stewie. Angry at her for taking away their still unborn child, which would explain why Stewie constantly plans for his mother's death. Which would also explain why Stewie never seems to age. As for Peter's extreme stupidity, he wasn't like that in real life. Peter was actually a very intelligent man. However, feeling like he had not met to the standards of his role as a father and a husband, unable to protect his children and his wife, Peter and himself has turned himself into a complete idiot that he perceives himself to be. However, he was he has created a different personality to express the intelligent man that he had always been. In the form of the family dog, Brian. As for Cleveland, Quagmire, and Joe, they all are people involved in Peter's life. Cleveland and Quagmire did live in the same neighborhood as Peter. Their appearances in the show represent the times that they visit their old friend. Peter, in the mental hospital. In an attempt to humor him in his insanity-induced world, Cleveland and Quagmire also to told Peter about Joe, the man who moved into his new house with his wife, his son, and a newborn baby on the way. Having never met Joe, Peter decided to include him into the new world as the man that he could have been a strong, heroic, devoted father and husband, who unconditionally loved his family despite his crippling disability. Cleveland, having visited his his friend Peter Moore in the hospital found that himself was slowly starting to lose his mind. When he was helping Peter indulge in his imagination, as a result, Cleveland decided to stop his visitations to Peter, resulting in the spin-off show that Peter created in his new world. Peter constantly is the one who brings trouble onto himself and his family, however. In the end of it all, he knows that his whole family is safe and that he loved each and every member unconditionally, and that is really all that Peter Griffin ever wanted. So basically, he he imagined everybody. Brian was his smart him, and he he Meg killed Chris. So Peter had resentment towards Meg for killing Chris. So that's why everyone hates her. Is so mean to her in the whole show. And uh, Stewie was killed when Lois committed suicide for Meg and Chris dying. So that's why Peter imagines him as a smart baby who has resentment, some sort of resentment towards Lois. That's why Stewie always wants to kill Lois. So, 
that's basically what happened with that. And then Quagmire is Peter's friend who visits him in the hospital. That's why they're in this new world. And and Cleveland is also in this part of the world for a while. And then they introduce him to Joe, who's the guy in the wheelchair. He's the police officer, basically. And that's why he's he's crippled in the show, because that makes him a man of hero. It's kind of like a heroic man that Peter wants to be, basically. And then he basically makes all that happen. And then... Cleveland started going crazy and stopped visiting Peter. So Peter came up with the show, the Cleveland show that P that Cleveland's the star of, and that's basically what happened. So it was just a man who loved his family. He was actually really smart, and he turned himself into an idiot when he uh, because he blamed himself for all his children's death. But he was he was he was a good he was a good man, I guess. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to like the video. Also, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice one. Bye.